So our journey is continuing. <laughs> Good afternoon, madame. <laughs> Will you not join me for a little refreshment? This marvellous little man here has just made me the most extraordinary concoction out of native fruit juices. It's called a golden sebek and is named after the god of the ancient city of Crocodilopolis. <laughs> for me, thank you very much. Sometimes I do take the hair of the dog, but never the scale of the crocodile. Please! <laughs> well, and how are you getting along with your investigation of this tragic affair, Monsieur Porridge? Oh, normal, no, madame. Normally, as they say. Mm. Oh, the cream pus, you know. The primitive instinct to kill. So closely allied to the sex instinct. <laughs> I have every sympathy for that poor half-crazed Jackie. Her emotions are a turmoil. Her hot Latin blood raging to be avenged on the woman who stole her man. Yes, of course, but it, it, uh, it could have been someone else with a motive at least as good. Oh, who? You, Madame Atterborn. What are you talking about? Oh, come, come. Both your daughter and you know that you cannot libel the dead. Now you will never have to pay those huge damages she was asking for. Yes, but one would hardly kill for that. Would one not? Well... Here, here another golden what have you. You know, Mrs. Otterborn, it is you that I can see looking into the saloon through the windows at that, as you put it, poor half-crazed Jacqueline shooting Monsieur Dye. And then, when everyone has gone, running in to take up the gun, and then stealing forth to kill Madame Dyer. No! My world is the world of grand love and passion and romance, not grubby murders. Now, if you'll please leave me alone. Well, if we have disturbed you, we are both desolate. Oh, life can be so cruel. I must be brave, very brave, to bear the calumnies of life. Here, Barman. This crocodile has lost its croc. 